Oh, man. Uh, let's see. Doesn't look like anybody knew. And truck mat ticket eight did not go through. Yeah, it still didn't register, uh, truck mat. Oh, I see you're not putting a number after it. Oh, yeah, you got... Yeah, don't put my name in it. That's what you did wrong. No? What? Yeah, it still didn't register, Matt. Reminds me of Jurassic Park. I'm waiting for a big bird to come by and buzz me. This is so aggravating. And it's not due to frame loss. I mean, it's nothing that the... It's got to be a Twitch. I don't know. It's got to be that card's what it's got to be. Whew. Oh, it says use raffle, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't think that's right either. Well, I've got a bunch of statements on there that aren't right, huh? Hey, Ice, I got to head out, man. Nice flying with you. Hey, man, appreciate you joining us. Catch us next time. You bet. See you guys. Bye. Have a good one. Of course I'm going to go fly over that mountain. <laughs> Kledgy 6 stayed back there. Uh, are we on East Asia? We are. Okay. Well, I'm in, but I can't see anyone. That's okay. the problem Chris had last week. I, I, I don't see, see you buzzing. I see why the uh, Streamlabs... Uh, statement was coming out so I shut that part of it down but the the giveaway is still active so don't don't just ignore that last
canned message from Streamlabs. Doesn't know what it's talking about. <clears throat> I don't know what happened, Bozeta, but I don't see you either. It's really weird. Hmm. This is what happened last week with Chris. I couldn't see him. He couldn't see me. The Russians. The Russians. Yep, it's the Ruskies. Yep. They're hacking in our server. They're hacking in our lives. A bunch of hacks. I don't Punch understand. Out. I had a one, two, three, four password. <laughs> Lion was any, my name. Said press any key, but I wasn't sure what any key was. <laughs> like Homer. I can't find any key. Does anybody know the number to 911? Nope. 123, <laughs> is it? Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> In Europe, do they use 911 or what What system do they use? Uh, 112. Actually, um, I did a first aid course the other week, and they were saying that you can actually use 911 as well, and it will still take you through to the emergency services in the UK. Um, yeah, I think that works as well. Yeah, 911, um, <clears throat> 999 here, and is it 112 for Europe as well, Bo Yeah, it is. I think the police... I think the police here are 112, and then you have the doctor, the ambulance, and all that adult... Different ones, you know, fire. Well, if you press, you know, it's funny. If you press on your cell phone, you press the um, on-off button a couple of times real quick, they'll call you. Well, they were saying in this uh, course the other, the other week that I did, and they were saying the reason that 911 works is for kids because obviously they watch a lot of American programs, kids there, and <clears throat> they might think that that's the number, so... You know, that's kind of still going to work for him. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I think it's as well for, you know, tourists. You know, if there's an emergency, your brains won't work. Yeah, the first well. thing you're going to think, yeah. might be the first thing that comes up your mind. That's right. I'm going straight for 911 because I couldn't remember 123 for nothing. Oh, you said 122? 112. 112. Let's see, uh, oh, I'd, I'd been dead a long time ago. <laughs> Just say I'm trying to teach my kids our home address at the moment because it's all well and good <laughs> to get the right number. And they say, well, where's your dad lying on the floor? And he's like, oh, uh, I don't know, in our house. <laughs> all circuits are busy. Please try your call again <laughs> later. Yeah, your call is extremely important to us. 911, we'd like to save your life. Can you hold, please? <laughs> Yeah. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? My father's dying on the damn floor. What the hell you need my name for? That's right. Just get here. I think I just. What's your name? My, na my name's Joey. Joey, what? I'm two years old. How the hell do I know? What's your father's name? Dad? Dad, that's right. And it's going to be dead here if you don't get here. Mommy hit Daddy over the head with a vase. We never okay. owned a vase in our house, so we had some nice Lock, cast maybe. iron. We, we, no, but we, we had some nice cast iron skillets. Yeah, Mommy fell down the stairs. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. 
And she had that rope around her neck when she did. Man, we're evil. <laughs> I don't know why the sound alerts aren't working. My, Grantler. Thank you. Thank you for the hundred applause and the uh, thousand redeemed points for the hype. I don't see it coming through, though, so I'm going to have to find out what... Yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see it coming through. I was hoping for some noise. Yeah, it should, uh, and it, it didn't. I don't know why. That's interesting. That should have worked for sure. Just for, uh, that's a bummer. So is sound alerts maybe this is life. modded? Yeah, I saw that in Zen. I I re I set your uh, points back to you from the other day, and I'll make sure these get reimbursed too. Cause that one sound alerts is supposed to be modded, and it it's not showing as a mod. So apparently, it's not working right. so hard sometimes. So does anybody do any other online gaming? Well, not at the moment. Not much. I'm, uh, I do some war robots and I'm, you're talking about multiplayer though, I think. Um, so war robots would be the only multiplayer I play, but I'm, I'm thinking about doing a stream, uh, starting a stream called, um, <laughs> uh, so I'm thinking about starting a, a live stream in StarCraft. I played it for a while at one point, and I, ha I installed it, so I'm going to have to start it over. And I thought, well, I'll just do the start right, do the whole, do the whole game right from the start. I was going to do that locomotives thing, but. I didn't get into it. Yeah, I thought about truck simulator. Everybody's doing it these days, and I thought about racing. Yeah. I, bought I my, do truck uh, simulator sometimes. It's fun. I bought my land that um, train sim world two. Bought him that the other week. Um, it's a bit complicated for him at the moment, but that looks pretty involved. Oh really? Yeah. I, I looked into that truck simulator there, but I, I didn't get into it. The real thing was bad enough. <laughs> it's pretty fun in uh, in VR, but it, it does get old after a while. I've played farming simulator. It's fun, but it could get boring after a while, too. Yeah, driving around on a tractor just doesn't cut it for me. Well, if it was anything like the UK, if it was truck simulator, you'd just be sat in back-to-back -back traffic anyway. Yeah. <laughs> like the US. No, that's really going to get bad this year 
because they're starting all that new construction on the highways. So I wouldn't want to be a truck driver now. Wasn't Elon Musk supposed to be building some tunnels under LA or something? I don't know. Well, I've always been a, a sportsman outdoors, so I uh, I know it sounds crazy, but I like the Hunter Call of the Wild. That game is so addictive. What's that, a hunting game? Yes. It, if you've never played it, don't play it, because you'll, you'll get addicted to it also. Oh, okay. Never was much into guns. I mean, I owned a couple, but, you know, used to hear, when I lived up in the mountains in the woods, used to hear the bears on the other side of the hill. So you could hear them growling, you know. There it is, Chris. And one night, one night they were kind of close, and uh, I got out. It was about 1 o'clock in the morning, put my shotgun out the door, and boom, they ran off. You could also bow hunt in this game, and handgun hunt it's pretty cool i didn't shoot at the bears they just shot in the air just to scare them you know yeah, yeah. That, i need sorry to interrupt that's why i need uh, to be watching this on my big screen which i was but i was just struggling with the internet connection did you and see that's, that uh, exclamation mark bots isn't it oh um yeah, I I don't know. Um, all you have to do to get rid of those, Chris, is to click on the individual's name and then ban him. Just ban him and report him. All right, got you. Well, I got yeah. my dog to go to sleep. I had to sit here and pet her until she woke, nope, she woke up again until as soon as they stopped. And uh, just... And a dog just, you got... I got five dogs, and they're all mixed breed. One looks like a lab. One looks like a kind of poodle type, you know, curly head little black dog. And the mother's a mixed breed. I don't know what she is. She got white, white spots like a Dalmatian, and big patches of black. And back in a minute. All right. So she's black and white. Then I have uh, another one. That looks like a. Um, Oh, I don't know what the heck they are. Uh, Chihuahua type dog. They're all from the same mother. They got a great big white one. We know where that one come from. That was, you know, we know who the father of that one is. They say mutts are the smartest. Yeah, <laughs> they're pretty damn smart. They tell me and my wife what, what what they want, basically. You know, they just, you know, they they don't like eating a lot of dog food, but they sure do like people food. <laughs> my wife will be eating. My wife is cooking for the dogs. My wife does, too. She cooks chicken for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a dog. We did that every night, man. Make him a plate. <laughs> she, book, uh, she cooks for them beef, uh, turkey, chicken, with rice and uh, carrots and stuff like that. But yeah, I really my, love it. Yeah, my, my wife cooks the uh, sweet potatoes. She'll be cooking them for herself. She'll cook, you know, chop one up for the dogs, throw it on the floor, let them have it. Then she cooks chicken and rice, puts that on a plate and lets them all have it. Then when she goes out and buys an $80 or an 80 RMB, a uh, bag of food, and then they wonder why they won't eat it. <laughs> my mom had a uh, Shih Tzu Maltese mix. Oh my god, that dog was awesome. <laughs> yeah, the um, it's the, the I, I like the small dogs, and you know, I like I had a big standard poodle. I loved her. She was the best damn dog I ever had. Smart as a whip. She used to take, and she'd go in my, my garbage. See, when I was living in Maine, you wash all your cans and bottles out before you put them in your trash bin. Then you take them up to the dump. So 
I used to wash them out, put them in the bin, and she would go in and she'd take the cans out of the bin. And then she would put them on my bed. And she'd put them in a circle. And then when I'd be coming home, she'd sit in the middle of them. She'd come out, back at the door, and then run into the bedroom, jump right up in the middle in the circle, and just sit there and look at me like, look what I did. That's oh. incredible. And then she, so I put them back in the bin, and then the next day she'd do the same thing. Every day we'd play this game. But I had a recliner. I used to sit in the recliner and fall asleep. She'd jump right up on my lap, put her head on my shoulder, and go to sleep. Smart as yeah, her, her dog's name was Candy, and she knew so many tricks. She'd go up to her and say, bang, and she'd just roll over and play yeah, dead. Yeah. So we had funny. a dog did that, yeah, little hot dog. You go, bang, and the dog would lay down and roll over like it was. That's cool. We, Life we would be it, so much more bang, boring bang. without dogs. Yeah, we called her bang, bang. We had a dog when I was a kid, and... uh that's what my brother used to whistle like that, you know? And that's the only whistle that dog would come to. My wife, like, I'll, I'll, I'll let one, I have the mother dog, I let her up on the bed sometimes, you know? My wife said, I don't like her on the bed, she's dirty. I said, she's not dirty. So if you're crying out loud, you washed her feet and washed her face before she went to bed, you know? Gives them a bath about once a week. We have a boy dog. He likes to pee on stuff sometimes, so we don't let him on the bed. I like cats. Yeah, too. I had cats, and when I had my poodle, I had my cat had kittens, and the mother died. And I had a friend who took a couple, and then uh, I, I had four of them. And they used to get up on the poodle and knead, you know, and, and get comfortable and go to sleep on right top of her every night. My brother always did. I used to get a pizza. I'd get out of the store and get a pizza, and the dogs would sit there. The cat would sit. The cats would sit there, and the dog would sit there and look. And I'd give them some of the crust. You know, I'd break some of the crust off and I'd give it to them. And they will, and they'd sit like perfect. You know, just and look and wait until I gave them some. So I want to. You know, they the... say from the day you bring your cats home, they're figuring out ways to kill you. I don't know. They never tried that on me. So I wanted to announce the event that uh, CIA Cowboy has going on March 29th. That's Tuesday next, I believe, at uh, 7 p.m. Central Time. Uh, in observance of the Vietnam War veterans, um, we're, they're, they're holding an event fly-in uh, with... I can't even tell you how many big name streamers are going to be streaming it. I'm going to have uh, Vietnam vets speak live on air that day. Uh, a lot of people are going to be flying in. I'll be streaming it. Uh, live comms are on um, the CIA cowboy, uh, the CIA squad room. Um, Discord, and you find a link there in the Twitch for that event. Come and join us. Fly in uh, on the 29th. Fly what you like. Most of us will be flying Hueys.
And now, a word from our sponsors. Man, this is one heck of a crater here. It must have been one massive explosion at one time. Thirty-three miles out. I'll do that. Hey, Chris, I'm on auxiliary pumps now. Oh, you found them then? Yeah, I was down to five gallons each tank. Yeah, you can run them from the start, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, I just turned them on and then... And then you see the numbers next to them going down, don't you? Well, the, that was the main fuel. I was just, you know, down to five gallons each tank and then I turn the auxiliary pumps on. Yeah, well, what boy. I think what I did, you've got your slider for your main tanks and then next to it's a number, isn't it? Or it's a yeah, yeah. Well, Zeta, you've disappeared. What happened? No, I don't know. I lost you guys as well. Okay. As long as you're still with us. I saw you back there and oh, you I'm were here. gone. All right. I still have two hours of fuel left, it says. In the heli? Yep. Uh, I got an hour and 17, but I don't, I don't top off. I just about half, depending on the flight. Yeah, I, I refueled immediately before we left. And that came through twice. Why? Because Streamlabs and Stream Elements has got it. Now I know. So. Nightshade Muse, welcome. Welcome back. Appreciate you stopping in. I'm going to give uh, Nightshade a shout out here. She has a unique channel uh nightshade moves hopefully i got that spelt right enjoy a short clip from one of nightshade muses recent streams Hell yeah! So is anybody ever... Let's go! I owe you one, boy. Go out! Too late. And I see Nightshade participates in talk channels and all kinds of good stuff. Go on over there and follow Nightshade Muse. 
I almost said for a good time, but I don't, I don't want to put something like that out there, Nightshade. That was, that, that was just wrongly worded. I didn't know how, how else to say that. <laughs> She's got a great stream. Go check her out. Nightshade, we are running a giveaway today for a gift sub to the uh, ice bucket, and you're welcome to enter, exclamation point ticket, and a uh, number after it up to 10. We'll get you entered in the giveaway. We're uh, only about 15 minutes away from that, now 30. Looks like I'm still 30 minutes out. So... Come on, Nightshade, type in for me. I need 10 people in chat today just to participate. I got nine the last time we done this. Nine. I can't push it over the 10. Corhane, welcome. Welcome back. Appreciate you stopping in. And we did get Bozeta in there, finally. And Inzan. And let's see who else we got on the list. What's that, the boy? Yeah, this is weird, because that airport doesn't show up on my... Tis there. Oh, no. Nearest list. Do it again. Do it again. No. Doesn't show up on your nearest list? It's not showing up on my nearest airport list. There's nothing showing up within 200 nautical miles. Huh. That's interesting. Let's see what mine says. I've got USAC. It's the only airport on my list, but it came up. Yeah, I think it's this airplane or something. I don't know. It's this thing that doesn't work very well. The uh, G1000 on this isn't working right, I don't think. Roger that. Oh, your uh, level of detail set to on your... Um... MFD, you know, your right screen map. What do you mean, level of detail? So on the bottom, it should say um, detail on the right-hand screen at the bottom. And if it doesn't, press back. It says all, detail all. Oh, okay. I hear Discord is coming to the Xbox. Oh, is I should, it? I should say to the Xbox console, yes. That's what I heard. I don't suppose Sim can as well, is it? <laughs> you say what? That's what? I don't suppose Sim connects is as well. I can't speak to that. <laughs> no, that'll never happen. I still can't fathom why they haven't put the distance on these tags. It's something that I just don't get. Let's 
see if we see Bo Zeta back there now. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm around eight miles out of uh, I see. the airport. Say 80 miles? Yep. I'm only 55, but you look a lot closer than that. I guess maybe not. <laughs> Obviously. Well, I'm glad you got in there, Bozeta. That, yeah, me too. That was worrying me. a rough me. day. Yeah, that was worrying me. I don't know why that's not taken every time. It's it's kind of strange. There's a timeout. Maybe it's maybe it's the command. I need to give the command more time before it, or less time between timeout. Because if you punch, yeah, that's that's probably what it is. I I'll bet you. Let's see if I got timers. Uh, counter, betting, discord, timers. The only thing I put in was the calendar command. Um, okay, I guess you could call it an airport. <laughs> Not much of one there, is it? Yeah, I knew it was going to be a issue. Well, I've just kind of landed in a field. Can't whether work out whether it's two airport, uh, two runways, or just two fields. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm pretty sure there's no fuel there. Now, there was one catch to this giveaway. You must be a follower. So if you're not following, be sure and click that follow button so that your entry will be processed. That wasn't your problem, though, was it, Bosetti? You've been, you followed a long time ago. I don't yep. know why. It's, it's the weirdest thing. I mean, everybody's command looked right to me. Well, maybe it's just a bug. Right, there are actually two runways. Is it cool? Yay, I'm getting back to VR, my sim crashed. Oh! Maybe one day, guys. Maybe. Keep praying to the Asobo gods. What's the altitude over there, uh, Chris? Uh, about 100 feet. <laughs> so what do you hear the latest on the expansion pack are we going to see something the first of april or got to wait toward the end of april anybody nobody knows
You talking about the heli? Yes, I am. Oh, uh, no idea. <laughs> You're not keeping up on I'm that for me? Uh, uh, I've been a bit busy. <laughs> you have, yes. Wee. Uh oh. What happened there? <laughs> uh, nothing. Chris, do you sign out and back in? Uh, no. I just showed you signed in just now. It's signed in on uh, Flight Sim. Oh, in the Sim. Sorry, I about it. Discord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you went out. Okay. So, yeah, what's been happening now, I, I can't catch a break, so it's stolen another 10 hours off my flight time. Um, so I'm just sort of experimenting to see if that's logged it. Uh, I got five hours from the Sunday Fundy flight, and, um, yeah, came back into the sim the next day and disappeared. Are there, oh. are there any uh, uh, data, you know, any... No, Nobody's had that problem? Do you have any data on it is it a known bug yeah yeah there's stuff on the forums yeah well here's my question why you here's my answer i really don't know but it has happened to a lot of other people on the forums huh is there n nobody knows a common denominator or they all console or? Um, yeah, I know you're streaming, so I'll be careful what I say. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure, okay. really. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Some of these are rather touchy subjects sometimes. Well, some of us all the time. Um, ten year project. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna Thank get you better. If you don't like the weather, come back tomorrow. It'll change. I mean, we are technically twenty percent into that that ten years, but you know. <laughs> yeah, but look how much they've done. Just a simple coding issue. I don't know why they can't put distance on those tags. Or at least be able to see them on the radar or something like that. I wonder why there's no add-ons even for that. Ten year project. Nobody's figured out how to do it stably that that a Sobo's not gonna just break it the next time they send an update. <laughs> I mean, you can't blame that might be the reason. Yeah, you can't blame the developers. They you know, really they're fighting a, a losing battle if a Sobo chooses to cut them out. You know, there, the, these days, there's a lot of games that allow add-ins and modifications. So I don't, I don't see how they can justify trying to squeeze out the community. All I'll say is I've really enjoyed flying in Spain and Portugal before now. It's just a shame I'll never be able to do it after tomorrow. I lost Matt. Oh, it's kept me hours. You said what about your hours? Kept them. I've just reloaded in and it's kept. <laughs> Good. It's it's logged the flight basically. But did it give you your ten 99. hours? <laughs> did it give you ten hours back though? No, they took them away. They never gave them back. Well, 
I cross <clears throat> 900 hours today. Nice. Wow. Well, apparently, reading in the forums, they, they say that it's actually you, your hours are actually kept in the cloud. It's supposed so to. It might be a display thing, you know, what's actually displaying on your sim rather than what's in the cloud, maybe. I don't know. Huh. I wish you could look at your logbook, you know, while you're in flight like that. I had three and a half hours I had to have, and I probably only needed three by the time I started flying. So, well, I'm surprised nobody's actually come up with a, an add-on where you have got a, an integrated logbook. There are logbooks, but they're they're totally separate. They don't pick up the history, and they they won't, you know, they they start new. And and they'll keep them for you, but they're they're totally separate. Well, when I get to three hundred hours, you never know; it might just magically appear again, and I'll be back on six hundred or something silly like that. But it didn't even want to give you the first hundred. <laughs> I've had to fight tooth and nail. <laughs> That's a shame. I mean, it's not the be-all and end-all, is it? It's just nice to, to be able to look at them sometimes. Well, watch them accumulate. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. Uh, you know, I I never... Like, you know, we talked about this last week. And it, I, I don't look back on my hours and wish I could have migrated them over into this logbook from FSX or from FS9 or whew, boy I wish I knew how many hours I had that's all you know I wish I knew I think before this I think I've got to say probably FS9 was probably the one that I put most hours into in total Yeah, I think FS9, but see, I had I had Combat Simulator back then, and I flew, I flew that a lot. Uh, not so much oh. into the combat end of it anymore. Well, I know that um, just on FS9 alone, I was in a virtual airline on VATSIM, and that was in excess of a 1,000 hours just for that particular airline, so who knows? Wow. Yeah, you know, and the more you guys talk about this issue, the more I, I do, I think back and say, well, man, I wish I could have migrated those log books. But maybe going forward, you know, maybe it'll, like you say, be, be on the cloud in perpetuity and we don't have to worry about it and just be there. So do you unless, think that they'll really another flight sim then in 10 uh, years' time? Uh, unless... Continued work in progress. I don't know. Um, you know, after FSX, they swore that it'd never happen again. They wouldn't support another flight sim, period. It was not going to happen. They weren't even, well, we'll think about it, or it's not time. We've got everything you need right now, and we're, we'll work on it another time. They didn't say any of that. They just said no. No, I think with the advances in technology, it's just become a massive sort of cash cow for them, hasn't it? I mean, I think, I don't know what percentage they take off marketplace sales, but it, it's it's a big chunk, I think. Marketplace gets, uh, yeah, a big chunk. Um, this is something that's been discussed in in this particular group because just because uh, you know of its significance did you guys know that technically japan and russia are still at war no i didn't know that they never signed a peace treaty at the end of World War II because the Russians took over the Kuril Islands. Yep. Someone, 
someone who cares uh, I think a little. We had a small mention about this last week, actually. Yeah, I know the islands have changed hands a couple of times. The Russians owned it, then Japanese, then the Russians again, and so on and so on. Someone yeah, who Japanese cares a little says they get 30%. Guy, uh, yeah, Sorry. they had to give up these islands uh, when they signed the peace treaty. Uh, these islands were never given to the Soviets, but they just kind of took it. Well, the United I States never signed a peace treaty with Korea, did it? I think Japan took these islands from Russia during the uh, 1800s in a war with them. That could be the case, yes. Well, these are listed. I mean, as, come as on now. Russia. Russia would never invade a country for no reason. Come on now. No, never. Putin's too religious to do something like that. Yeah, I heard he was in the witchcraft. Jesus last Friday. In the big stadium where they force people to go into. Oh, come on. They didn't force them. They gave nah, extra days off. They, they really, they did not force them. They went to the uh, company's owners and said, make sure your people go. Yeah, they gave them an extra day off if they went. And if they, they didn't go, need... they got an extra, an extra room. The, yeah, yeah, they don't they, even they, need they to say or else. They told the students, you know. You get the rest of the day off if you go. So someone who cares a little says Microsoft gets 30%. Not to get political, but a former president came to our base and we were forced to go see him. We did not want to go. I can't believe that. It's true. No. They An American president? America. An American president? Come on, man. And that president will go unnamed. We used to have to go when the admirals came around and they'd go to the theater. They'd say, okay, everybody E4 and below. Uh, we're going to have so many E6s, you know, and they'd, you know, but it was mainly E4 and below that had to go. Listen to the admiral. Like, it was... Uh, Chief of naval op chief of uh, naval personnel, or the chief of naval operations, or somebody like that would come in, and they would, you know, fill the pack the theater full of people. So I've got about eight minutes to the airport. I'm going to go ahead and run an ad real quick while we're uh, just cruising along, and we'll be back in about sixty seconds. You know, you could go online and, like, look at... Uh
I think I was muted, Moby. Thank you. How'd that happen? Oh, no. I, I muted it for that commercial and didn't come back. Okay, so we're, we're approaching the airport coming up on... We are doing a giveaway for a, a gift subscription to the Ice Bucket. Uh, everybody get in on the giveaway. Exclamation point. Ticket. And then after that, a space and a number up to 10 will get you entered in the giveaway. We're going to have just a few minutes. And if you're already a subscriber to the Ice Bucket, I'll subscribe in your name to any, uh, give you a gift subscription to any Twitch server um, of your choice. Exclamation ticket. And a number. No takers. I am not on Twitch yet. I see Boseda up there in the hills. Yeah, I'm flying down that way. You are. Sosa sent me a DM. He says, thanks for letting him fly with us today. He had to leave a little early to pick up his kid from school. He's in the U.S. Eastern time. Can't wait to do it again. Good to, good, good to see. Good to see, Sosa. It's good to have you with us. Hope you will come back. Um, is that airport truck, Matt? Is that what we've decided? Is that the airport? I guess this is the airport. I just, you know. <laughs> no runways, really, you know. Well, well, there was a runway on uphill. You've got two runways. It's basically like uh, intersecting at the end. Um, so it looks like a giant letter L for Lima. Oh. I, don't worry, I nearly landed on a farm before the runway. Well, I'm looking at my GTN 750 and it says I'm not there yet. No, you're not. That's the farm I nearly landed at. You just flew over. Yeah, that's not it. That's not it, guys. It's up here. I'm almost there. It's like there. over the crest of a hill. I see the runway right here. No, maybe that's not So it. are we moving back there? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to sit down on the spot where the uh, where my map says, my GTN 750 says the airport is. It's over here somewhere. It's, it's just, you can see two grass, long grass strips cut out of we're, the trees. We're going to spawn in on it my, so, uh, tomorrow. Right there yeah. where I was already. Right, yeah, right here is the runway. Absolutely, I see it for sure. It's going to get strafed and rocketed. There's nothing to hit. <laughs> nah, I'm still a few miles out. I was messing around back there. The hills are alive with the sound of music. That's my wife's favorite musical. Um, I did South Pacific when I was in high school, and I always liked the music from that. I'm waiting for Julie Andrews to pop out from behind the bushes. Why would she be here? I'm just saying it looks because like you, the, are. you know, looks like kind of like the scenery where she's standing in the middle of the field. All I know is Gilligan better be glad he didn't land on this island. It would have been a lot colder. He'd have been there a while, huh? They'd probably froze to death in the first week. So let's see. I show 13 people in, in chat. 
I don't think that's right, but I'm going to put it out there one more time. We're running a giveaway. Do it here in just a, a couple of minutes when everybody gets down. Exclamation point ticket and a number up to 10 afterwards, and that'll get you entered on the drawing for a gift subscription to the ice bucket. Eight Shires, are you still in chat? All right, no takers, and I'm still waiting to see if I have gotten chat. Now, eight shires has left the building, so let's see. I didn't say you had to be here to get it, but we'll see what the what the giveaway Meister says. Get a couple of screenshots while I'm bringing that up. I think I broke my uh, legs on that landing, maybe? Uh oh. It was pretty rough. Well, we seem to have lost a few people that started with us, but. Appreciate everybody being here. We'll close the giveaway. Nobody last minute. Anybody want to put their two cents in? Exclamation point. Ticket. And a number up to 10. I'll give you another few seconds here. And pull this at 3.30 p.m. on the money, if I can get it that way. All right, we're closing the giveaway. <clears throat> it's only seven. And looks like uh, 55, 56 tickets have been issued. Good luck. And roll them. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Grantler LP has won. Congratulations. Nice. Congrats. Grantler already is a tier one subscriber. So I'll ask you, Grantler, do you want a uh, subscription to another uh, stream, or would you like to make that a uh, tier two? Wow, I can't do tier two, guys. Um, so yeah, either, either would you like to give somebody a gift sub, or we give it to you next month? Grantler, talk to me. Just a second, I'm typing. <laughs> okay. Give it to a random viewer. So we've got uh, 11 people in chat. Let me gift. Oh, I got to open, open it outside of my mod. Okay. And Twenty-eight. 
Twitch, dummy. Crazy. <laughs> I do not see Twitch on my list. How's that happen? Well, it's been fun flying with you guys today. I'll get Twitch and check it out. All right. Be good to have you join us. And I appreciate you joining the flight. We're starting here tomorrow. I'll probably be here. Where are we off to tomorrow? I don't know where we're going, but... We're taking to off to here tomorrow, and we're going to... Let me open the flight. My, my mouth froze on me. Uh... Yeah, let me open the flight plan real quick. It's Severo, Severo, right there. And we're going to Yellow Zolo. Is that it? What's the name of that? Yellow Zovo. Yellow Zovo. Now, what is UH? Is that is that still Russia? I'm, I don't know. Yes. U is generally some Russian or former Russian territory. Ah, okay. So maybe four. It is Russian. Or... I got it. What's all four letters of that? I'd say Uniform Hotel Papa Papa. That's where we're going to tomorrow. All right. I'll check out the flight plan and, you know, the events and. See what stops we got. So, Ice man, would you mind texting me that link to go to the GTN 750 website? Yeah, it's just pms50.com. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Has anybody had trouble loading the flight plan from today? Because I've gone crash to desktop three times now. You know, I crashed twice, and I'm not sure why, but no, I've, I loaded the flight plan several times and have flown it, uh, and I didn't have any problems with this one. So looking at this, it's uh, U is the Russian Federation, but UH, even though it's Russian, is Far East. It's the Kamchatka Peninsula. So I'm working on it, Grantler. In fourth plate, it says it's Petropavlovsk. It's working slow. I say it again. Oh, I'm I'm trying to send that gift sub, and it's not doing yet. My because I'm doing it on the laptop. I'm, I'll do this more wisely here. Let me pull it up on the. Computer. Ah, you will figure it out. Oh, I know. I get it. I know. I get it. This I am not worried about. Get right here on my. Ah, so many links. There it is. So congratulations, Grandler. And how nice of you to gift that sub to someone else. Uh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Gift one sub and... But I don't think so.
There we go. So three seven and pay. Still giving me an argument. can't I can't do it there so that's not gonna work all right I get this yes I will figure it out so we're we're gonna I'll, I'll get this grandmother I'm gonna go ahead and raid somebody real quick and we'll get that done so I can shut the stream down and uh, appreciate the sub appreciate everybody that follows let's see Raid. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Raid. No, I don't want to host. Raid. Raid, raid, raid. There we go. Well, let's raid Viper Strike, I think. Yeah. Let's raid Viper Strike. Raiders, hope you stick around and follow Viper Strike. He's got a really good stream, too. Yeah, I got an hour and 42 minutes out of that flight. Oh, that's terrible. Three hundred and eighty three hours. Nice. Ninety nine. All right. Ninety nine. Did you lose any this time or gain? Who knows? <laughs> Sometimes I write it down and then I know. Wow. 